So then guys, in the matter of about 5 months time with the new Apple Watch 10, we've been told we're going to get a new blood pressure sensor added as well as a brand new design too. I want to give you all the details about this and we'll also go over the Apple Watch 10 release date and price with specs as well. With the Series 9 we did get a new chipset, the U2 chip and also a slightly brighter display. Then the comedy factor was that new double tap gesture with your fingers that actually has existed from the Apple Watch Series 4 and accessibilities. Then I won't even get started with the Apple Watch Ultra 2 and what we got there. But it does look like these minor upgrades or lacks of upgrades are actually for a reason as with the Apple Watch 10 we're going to be getting some big upgrades. So for everyone who watches my videos or even if you are new here, in these videos I'm going to tell you the latest details of specific leaks and reports, then the details of planned release date and time and then a summary of the models that were going to be released with all their features that we have learned so far. After that I'm also going to reveal to you my wish list for the next Apple Watch and also put down in the comments below what features you would like to see in the next Apple Watch 2 as I would love to see them. So to start with, I'd like to say that we're going to be getting some great upgrades instead of what we got with the Series 9 and the Ultra Watch 2. The reason is, we've had a report from Mark Gurman who said we're going to be getting a blood pressure sensor added inside as you can see right here. This will be a fantastic jump for the Apple Watch to get this. There are other some watches out there, smart watches, that do have this right now, but obviously with Apple being Apple, they've been waiting to perfect this technology and it looks looks like it's coming to the Apple Watch in 2024. Also, we're going to be getting a whole new design. According to Mark Gurman here, you can see that a new Apple Watch major redesign is coming in 2024. This will be very similar to what Apple did on the 10th anniversary with the iPhone 10 in 2017. And it looks like this is going to be happening for the 10th anniversary for the Apple Watch. Finally, it does look like we could be seeing a flat design like the renders that we're seeing here. And it'll more look like like say the iPhone designs that we have right now and also very similar to say what we got with the Apple Watch Ultra and the Ultra 2. For my thoughts, I am really happy that we're going to be getting a whole new redesign for the Apple Watch 10, and if this is the case, I'm sure it will sell super well next year. This also leads me on nicely to say that not all reports and leaks are 100% proof that they will come true with the new Apple Watch 10. I can only present you what I've been told and shown as you've seen here. However, if you're watching this video, then you're just curious I'm knowing what is being said about the next Apple Watch anyway. So, next First of all, let's talk about the release date, but just before that. So then guys, I am super excited this week because we're going to be doing a live stream giveaway of this MacBook Air right here. It's come to that time, we're going to be doing the giveaway this Friday and I'm so excited for it. It's going to be happening on Friday the 22nd and that's going to be around about say 11 a.m. PST time What's about 6 p.m. 1800 GMT time here in the UK. So you have to check out you know which country you're in to see for this international giveaway and I'm super excited for it because it's going to be happening and you still got a chance to enter in and all you have to do to enter in to get your hands on this MacBook Air is write down in the comments below of what technology or Apple technology you're still planning to buy in 2024. Put it down in the comments below. And also to tune into that live stream when it's all going to be starting and when it's going to be coming up on this channel, make sure that you, if you haven't done it already, subscribe to this channel and also hit that notification bell too to get the more information on that. And also I just want to say as well guys, for the actual specs of this MacBook Air, it's no ordinary one if you've been following my channel already this one here is the m2 macbook air but it does have inside it 16 gigabytes of ram and also 512 gigabytes of storage and also has the 10 core gpu core option as well so it's more than the baseline 13 inch model that we normally get so if you do want to enter in you know what to do now like i said by leaving a comment also making sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell but i also just want to say quickly guys still there's lots of scammers and spammers out there still people impersonating myself telling you to part with money for shipping and things like this this is not me at all please do it normal better still like you can see here please do report them 
So then, for the release day, even though it is still very, very early days, in past years, Apple has announced the Apple Watch alongside the iPhone with the two devices available for purchase around similar times. Again, this happened with the iPhone 15 where we saw the new Apple Watch Series 9 and we also got the Apple Watch Ultra 2 at the same event. But how about the Series 10 release day? Well, as mentioned before, if we do get the Series 10 in 2024, we're looking for towards the iPhone 16's announcement in inspiration as more leaks have dropped in about the iPhone 16 and when it will be available. Apple tend to do an event on the Tuesday nearest the middle of September month. So right now this is looking towards September 10th in 2024. However, Apple do sometimes do their event a week before, a week after. So it's possible that we could have it even on September the 3rd or maybe a week later on September 7th. After this, Apple normally launches the Apple Watch and the iPhone around about 7 to 10 days later. So based on this, we're expecting the same for the Apple Watch Series 10 to have a very similar release time. So with that out of the way, let's now talk about a summary of everything we know so far that everything has been painting a picture for for the Apple Watch Series 10. So then, first of all, as you can see here, we do have the brand new Apple Watch Series 10. And with it, we will still be getting a 41mm and 45mm LTPO OLED screen with that 2000 nits brightness that got introduced on the Series 9. The beginning storage will be 32GB of storage. It will have that brand new S10 silicon chipset inside it. It will be very similar probably to the S9. We will also get the U2 chipset so that's the ultra wide band, Bluetooth 5.3 and still probably 4G connectivity. We will also still get a glucose monitoring sensor as well that is possible going to be happening in 2024 but it might not, it might get delayed out but the actual body is going to be made out of that aluminium, stainless steel and maybe even the titanium body again just to match like with the iPhones and like I have said already guys it's probably going to be more of a flatter design this year. There's also the possibility that we may also see Touch ID on the standby button this time to authenticate things a bit more easier. And then the battery will be an all day battery again, up to 36 hours. And then again, we will still have that USB-C charging port end, what you can plug like into the sort of iPhone 15 and iPhone 16 USB end if you just want to do a daily sort of bit of a top up. Prices are expected to stay the same at the moment. So a 41 millimeter, 32 gigabyte will be 399 US dollars. And this is the blue Bluetooth version, whereas the Cellular will be 499 US dollars, and then the larger Apple Watch, the 45 millimeter, will be 429 dollars for the Bluetooth version, and the Cellular will be 529 dollars. So with that summary out of the way for the new Apple Watch 10, let me give you my thoughts and wishes. So my wish is to actually put a selfie camera in the Apple Watch. Now I've mentioned this before, but I'd love to see even a small 720p one. The reason is, is that say if you had a phone call on your watch, you could just lift up your arm to answer it and talk and you know, you could see people. It kind of makes a lot of sense now with the likes of FaceTime, WhatsApp, Zoom. You get the idea, it just makes a lot of sense to have this. Or let's say, for example, if you're lying down at the, and, you know, you need to grab your iPhone quickly, it just makes sense that you can answer the call, tell people I'm just transferring over to my iPhone or even say to your MacBook or anything like this. It just makes a lot of sense for this to happen. Maybe Apple could even angle the camera in a way that doesn't say shoot up your nose, for example. But let me know your thoughts if you agree on this or not. And write down in the comments below of what your wishes would be for the new Apple Watch 10. And with that guys, it's time to wrap up this video. So if you have enjoyed watching it, please make sure to like the video and at the same time if you want to hear the latest Apple news, reviews and comparisons, make sure to hit that subscribe button and follow by the notification bell. Until next time guys, I'll see you really soon. Take care. Bye bye.